another E3 has come and gone. So let's take a moment and look at the best of the show. I think potentially one of the coolest things that they showed uh, was the Amiibo figures by Nintendo. Now, Disney Infinity and Skylanders never really interested me. Uh, I think Disney Infinity interested me more because I'm a huge Disney fan. Um, but more so than that, I just think Nintendo, I mean, these figures that they debuted look amazing. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of like Mario itself. If I want to do anybody, I want to be Luigi because he actually has a personality instead of being like a blank slate. But the Mario figure looked cool, Link looked cool, uh, even Kirby sitting down just had like a certain animation to it. And uh, more so than like, I don't care what these characters are used in games. I just want like collectible, um, really, really nice and somewhat cheap uh, Nintendo figurines. That's really what I've been wanting for like a long time, and I know you can get like really, really nice ones for like seventy dollars, but uh, this will probably be good enough for for me. Uh, another Nintendo thing is you know Blade Chronicles X. Uh, they finally named the game instead of just calling it X, and um, I loved you know Blade Chronicles, um, but more so this ten or X or whatever you want to call it looks so amazing. I'm a huge fan of the Xenosaga series, which Xenoblade is a spiritual successor to that. And this game, more than the first one, actually looks like it's the successor to Xenosaga. Uh, the mechs, just the character models and everything, and the huge space battles, it looks fantastic. Um, and uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, I want to like a brief mention of this because it's gone up and down, you know? Uh, there's some really good Assassin's Creed games and there's some really bad ones. Uh, when you make a thing go on a yearly rotation, even if you have different teams developing in it, you're not really taking the time to really put all your resources into uh, doing it. Um, and I was kind of iffy when Unity announced that it was going to be taking place during the French Revolution, because I was like, I don't know if I really want to see, you know, France, you know, whatever. Um, but like the co op they showed, just blew me away uh, several times when I saw it online. Um, during press conferences, during like, stage demos, and stuff like that. It just looks really fun. Um, you know, co op is definitely not a new idea, but for Assassin's Creed, I think it could work, you know, fine. Uh, and then we got Dragon Age Inquisition. And kind of another honorable brief mention, just because, um, you know, I like the first two games. Um, I like the combat of two better, I like the story of one better. So if three is a combination of those two things, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I also want to mention it because there wasn't a lot of RPGs in general at the show, and I feel like I should really have an RPG on here, so uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, and then Sunset Overdrive, um, huge fan of Insomniac, a little disappointed that they gave uh, Microsoft a exclusive because uh, I don't care what Xbox One gets, I'm never buying an Xbox One. Now, I don't hate Microsoft, I don't hate the Xbox. I play the Xbox and the Xbox 360 quite a bit. They have fantastic games, um, exclusively to their things. Um, just myself, I'm just never going to buy one. Just because I've never bought an Xbox up to this point, and there's really no reason to do it. Why would I want to buy an Xbox One and get myself integrated with their you know, system when I haven't done it up to this point and catching up to the achievements and everything would just be, be done. And you know, uh, owning like an Xbox and Nintendo makes sense because they're relatively two different things. Owning a PS4 and Nintendo thing would be two different things. Um, but owning a PS4 and Xbox is like <coughs> having a couple exclusives for each platform and then mostly having a lot of third party content. You know, it's just not worth it. Nintendo, on the other hand, they pretty much are all about first party. Like, tons and tons of games that are first party. Whereas Sony, they would, and Microsoft, just kind of a handle. So, a uh, small little rant there. Uh, but here's another Xbox One game that looks pretty cool that I hope I can play sometime with uh, some friends at their house. But uh, Fable Legends. Uh, never really been into the Fable series. Um, I don't, I didn't hate it, I just, you know, never really attracted me too much, but, you know, another game with surprisingly interesting co-op, um, just like Assassin's Creed Unity. And it looks colorful and fun, and, yeah, another RPG to put on the list here. Uh, and another RPG, uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, another series I have not played too much of. 
Uh, I have the first two on my Mac. I am just really hesitant to play a lot of games on my Mac just because I, I don't like mouse controls. I prefer sitting on a couch or a chair or something comfortable when I'm playing a huge epic RPG or just a huge epic game in general. And um, when I'm doing a lot of work on my computer all day, uh, playing games on it unless I have to is the you know, least of what I really want to do. Um, but yeah, I think Witcher 3 looks fantastic, oh my god. Uh, I'm so glad that they're fi it's finally coming to a Sony console, and uh, I guarantee they're going to make a collection for one or two for either last gen or this gen. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Witcher 3 looks cool. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division. Uh, they didn't really show too much new, still New York, and I imagine there's going to be some twist in there where you go somewhere else. Um, but that still looks like a pretty solid game. Uh, Far Cry 4, uh, they showed like the first five minutes of that game at the Sony conference, so they showed a demo. I can't remember the demo was shown, but either way they showed the first five minutes and then they showed like a demo later on of like how the game plays, and it uh, looks stunning. Um, just looks like more Far Cry basically, but in a different setting. You know, I'm fine with that. Uh, I thought Far Cry 3 was one of the best games of the year it came out, which was 2013, 12? I can't, I don't remember actually what year it came out. Uh, damn it, what year did it come out? I think it was two years ago. Ah, uh, fuck, anyway. Um, <clears throat> and then last but not least, we have Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Uh, two things, one, as of now, when I'm recording this, I don't think the demo that Hiro Kojima showed exclusively to other places and press is out there. There are people describing what they saw, um, but just that trailer alone just got me pumped up again. Um, Kojima really knows how to pick really good music for his trailers that just emphasizes everything. And while they didn't really show too, too much, in terms of story, it was kind of all centered around like Big Boss like being really pissed off pretty much at the end of Ground Zeroes. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I just love that series so much. So I think it literally showed me like a piece of poop that comes out of someone but like Johnny Suzuki. I can't remember his name. Anyway, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> uh, good show. Um, overall, I, I'm just really excited to play a lot of these games, um, but these are a lot of games that I kind of already knew about that I really want to play anyway, but uh, yeah, these are my top 10, and uh, what's your top 10? Let me know in the comments below and all that stuff. Anyway, have a good one.